Over the last couple of months to come, budget cubes have become the target for many cube manufacturers to improve upon. Two cubes that have recently hit the market and the peak of these designs are the YJMGC and the Yushin Little Magic. Both are in the price range to be a budget cube, but do they both have the quality of a budget cube or is there one that tops more to the flagship cubes that we have today? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Cubing Bear. And today, we're doing a comparison between the YJMGC and the Yushin Little Magic. If you guys haven't already seen my reviews on both of these puzzles, be sure to check them out in the cards above to get a better insight on my opinions. But for now, let's begin with the comparison. For this comparison, we're going to be setting up with five categories. Speed, controllability, mechanisms, price, and feel. Let's start off with speed. Out of the box, the YJMGC was definitely more on the slow side. The layers felt like they were dragging each other and didn't feel like it was a fast cube. After tensioning and lubing with in the included solo lube that I received from speedcubeshop.com, thank you guys, it became much faster and now it's at a pace that I enjoy. The Yushin Little Magic, however, was much different. Out of the box, the cube was more faster and had a lot of speed to it. It seemed like a little uncontrollable for me, but with the added solo lube, it was down to a more controllable speed for me. Both cubes perform well in the area of speed, but I'm going to have to give it to the Yushin Little Magic for having better speed. It is a fast cube and very competitive to flagship cubes. This is because of the mechanisms which we'll get over in a little bit. Next is controllability. They say that slower speed is a win for another aspect of performance, and that seems to be the truth for the YJMGC, since it has great controllability now that it has work done on it. When turning the cube, I feel assured that the turns I'm making are the right ones. It's a way that you feel when you know you're being backed up by another force and that force being the magnetic overshoot or undershooting that is inside the MGC. The Yushin Little Magic has great controllability as well, but it does have small lookups once in a while. And since uh, I'm doing algorithms really quickly when I'm not paying attention, I do get those lockups sometimes. I did mention in my review that if it had magnets, it would be much faster and wouldn't have any problems of locking up, and will mostly likely beat the MGC in this category. But I'm gonna have to give it to the MGC since the little magic uh, that I have is not magnetic and the MGC has great and a reliable mechanism. Speaking of mechanisms, we have a quite unique mechanism that isn't used often in the MGCs since it features rounded corners. This is something that hasn't been seen on cubes anymore since the world record failed at Felix Scott in 2014. The squared off corner trend came off to solve the issue, so are the same problems on the MGC? Surprisingly, the MGC has better anti-corner twisting than the Yushin Little Magic, and this is because of the designs of the pieces. The MGC has a thick corner stock which hits nicely against the edge and doesn't allow for any space for any sort of movement, which makes it more difficult to get a corner twist. However, on the Little Magic, there's a longer and skinnier stock on the corner and makes it easier to have more corner twists themselves. While I had no corner twists on either of these cubes, the winner for this category goes to the MGC for its unique design and bringing back a corner type that isn't really used anymore. So now that we have compared the logistics of this cube, let's talk about the price. From speedcubeshop.com, the MGC costs $14.95 and from the cubicle.us it comes from $14.99 without shipping costs. The little magic from speedcubeshop.com is $49.95, but as of writing this script, on, on the cubicle.us, it is $2.99. The magnetic version of this puzzle is $13.99 from the cubicle, and on Speaku Shot, they have a custom cosmic version for $18.99. Since the cosmic version of this is only $3 more than the MGC, this makes it really affordable to unlock its full potential. The prices for both of these cubes gives it the title of top budget speed cubes. But since the base price is three times lower than the MGC, the Little Magic wins this with an insane affordability that's great for both beginners and intermediate people with premium versions. So it looks like it's down to two to two. And the final tiebreaker is the feeling and final thoughts. Both of these cubes to me are the best in their price range, but I have to give it to one of these cubes. So I'm giving it to the cube that suits what a cube is meant for at this price. To give it as many features of a flagship cube in a small package, and since we're talking about small packages, the winner is the Yushin Little Magic. While the MGZ has great control and good speed, the Little Magic is so much more faster and would have more controllability if it was magnetic. 
and the competing title for the best budget speed cube, and that goes to the Yushin Little Magic. Even though the MGC is my new main, its price and fundamentals are inferior to the Little Magic. While the MGC is my main, I still consider the Yushin Little Magic to be the best budget speed cube. But that's about it for this video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.